do y'all really think that this heist is gonna go down the way that they planned hmm? do, do you really think that it's gonna go down the way that we expect y'all somebody gonna mess this up watch what i tell you we got joan scared shitless, right river dropping laptops bridget who's schlongdong matai's and lewis and george now if this were Andrew and Oliver, yes, uh, hell yeah. I mean, no questions about it. But nonetheless, we got doofus number one and doofus number two. Well, let me take that back. Now, let me be clear for the life of me. I don't know why Daikon has all of this trust and this confidence in these two. And have y'all noticed that he really doesn't give them a hard time? He doesn't really question the highest like he used to do with Andrew, right? I mean, he put Andrew through it for like two whole seasons, but not with these two. No matter how much they mess up, Daikon just forgives them. And that's probably because he has this thing for George. <laughs> and we'll get to that in a minute. And for the most part, Daikon has been like their mentor, their big brother, their guide, so to speak. And the highest really hasn't had a lot of screen time or interaction with them. But I can say that Daikon is losing his oomph, that thing, right? The authority that he once had, it just isn't there anymore to me. He allows them to get away with things that would normally land others in the punishment trailer. Now, episode 21, it ended with Lewis and George drawing their rifles on Daikon and the highest. And when I saw this, I... I immediately thought, you know, I don't know, maybe they should have waited till everybody went to sleep before trying to pull this off, right? Don't they know that the men and women in the camp love this trigger? Like, they really love the highest. And are they aware that the freaky married couple, they already tried this before. And the highest asked if anyone else wanted to leave. And he just let them leave, right? I mean, we all know how their fate was and how it all ended. But the fact still stood that everybody who wanted to leave had already left. So why aren't these two fearing any retaliation? Now, most of y'all here know that I'm a stage director, right? And there is no way in hell, no way that I'd pull off or try to pull off a stunt like this without rehearsing first, right? Like they didn't even practice. And this alone is making me nervous and scared. It just doesn't seem well put together. Ruth telling Lewis to make sure that Bridget is ready for the plan. I mean, the only part of the plan that I know about is that Dumb and Dumber are gonna draw their guns on the highest in Daikon. Bridget's supposed to draw her gun on Ruth and then take her hostage in one of the getaway cars. I, I don't know, it just seems so half-baked and not well thought out at all. I do remember Lewis saying that they didn't have enough men, right? Because they're gonna need someone to drive the cars. If they are holding up Daikon and the highest, who's driving? right? But one thing I can say is that Lewis and George got balls, don't they? But I don't know, n none of this <laughs> is really phasing the highest. And I'm not really impressed either because we've traveled down this road before with Oliver, Lacey, and Zane. The only difference is that, you know, now there's more of them versus only three from the first time. The more players that you have, the more chances that you have that somebody gonna funk it off, period. I really cannot wait to see how this is all going to end. You know, I just hope the ending is a little bit different than it was the last time. Um, like I said before, it's the same play, but with different players. The only difference is now there's money involved and it's the same plot. And will somebody, anybody, just please take Malcolm out of his misery? Please. Now, I will admit, I absolutely loved George in this scene. And unfortunately, it's, it's sad to say that I really like to see him play, uh, you know, the mean guy, <laughs> you know, ruthless and harsh, right? Instead of this serious character. I mean, he seems to fit into that mold a little bit better than the, the, other, the other facets of this character. But Daikon waiting on him. Mm -hmm. he, he waiting on him. He, he wants to, to, to get to know him a little bit better. <laughs> but we can pretty much guess how this is all going to play out because Pierre don't get down like that, right? But Daikon don't care. I mean, you know, he tried Andrew. Andrew turned him down. So it's going to be interesting to see how he's going to handle this because he worships the ground that Daikon walks on, you know. So Daikon thinks, of course, we know what the truth is. But Daikon thinks that, you know, he's really feeling him for some reason. So maybe that's why he doesn't give him a hard time. I don't know. But these are just my thoughts. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments 
comments below what you think about this episode and what do you think about this heist that's definitely going to go wrong. That There's no doubt about it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You know I'd appreciate it. And if you're a fan of Tyler Perry's Ruthless, go ahead and sub to the channel for more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight, you guys. And I'm going to see you on the next one.